Hello and welcome back. The Kessel Face. Kessel Face. Who was Kessel? At you. What did they have to do with Ixer Masp? More um, of these questions and more. Yeah, right. So we should just, for the joy of it, try to kill the others, right? Uh, that's a very different tone from when uh, we left uh, five seconds ago. I thought we were just going to bypass them because they weren't very worth it. Here's a deal, chat. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Birdie. Uh, we, uh, we know we can kill them. Oh, these are like the best cherubs I've ever seen. They're mechanical. No, they're not. They're just no, the icy. mechanicals come in for the next. One is dead. No, now one is dead. Oh, I see they're flying. They're flying on me. Yeah. Uh, and I just got rid of my wings. I didn't realize there was enough space in here to fly. It is technically above ground, so it allows flight. Oh, weird. What a, yeah. what a technicality. Mm -hmm. Plus 20 strength, huh? Reflectively shielded. Uh, let's menacing stare this one. Ha! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We're so back, it's all over. Nice. Is that other uh, one? I should have waited. Was that to get both of them? Their mind is in disarray. Yeah, I was hoping that it would let me, uh, um, get them with, uh, why did that plasma oh reflectively shielded right oh ow ow ooh, ooh. ouchie um that's actually really bad don't they have ice beams or was that the 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 fawn it might be it might be solved time it might be solved it might be <laughs> i mean they're killing themselves by hitting it. true but also we are dying yeah. <laughs> they may be killing themselves but they're also killing us we got we got another five floors of this. It's only fine. <laughs> the fact that they're flying really sucks. I, I honestly say we just yeah. tattoo ourselves right in front of them. I don't think it helps at this point. Oh, no. No, I, if we were going to tattoo ourselves, we'd just reload checkpoint and do it. Could always try to bring out the boys. Nope. That doesn't seem to be working out for us. I mean, it's a 60% chance. We've tried it three times. You think that one mm -hmm. of those would have worked? Oh, I see. Even the playing field. Yeah. Ouch. I love the uh, tile for swoop. Damn, they hit hard. Ow! Yeah, they do hit hard. Is sprint also... Like, is the cooldown on sprint also broken? Because you seem to be doing it a lot. Uh, well, I have... Um... The agility one that makes it so that... Oh, right, right, right. Just keep them bleeding. Ow! Yeah. Jeez. These things hit really hard. They're so close to death. You debating, like, hitting them once? Okay, there we go. I was thinking about discharge there versus other options because I didn't have flight. If you want to uh, hit them with plasma... You don't want, as long as you don't shoot them, if you shoot near them, it would probably work and then you can hit them with like, but we don't actually have any grenades. Nice. Done. That was brutal. Yeah. We don't I'm going to gonna do make these. you read these. Yeah. We, uh, we did extra mass the first. That was the, that was the important one, really. I'm, I'm making chat. You can pause. Okay. You can pause on this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Pause here. If you want to know more. Yeah. About if you want to know more mass. about extra masks. <laughs> I mean, the, the Ixer Mosp legacy was quite, uh, there were a lot of Ixer Mosps in this game. We could actually, like, go over at the end and, uh, look through all of them, I think. There's a, that last one, what is it? <laughs> Wave to Nuku Nuku Gigu Naka, Naka Gaga. That's pretty good. Dominant Ixer Mosp friend, we know about that one. Uh, we're wearing that right now. Wait, why is this here? This is sarcophagus. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not the reliquary. What is that? That was just me making like a race car noise. <laughs> oh, could you hear a race car in my background? No. Oh well, there was one, so that's. Really... It felt. It felt like I was doing that by auto exploring. Oh, I see. 
No, All yeah, right, I so, uh, backing up trucks we, during the day and then race cars at night. Are we done with this yet? Yeah, yeah, we Chat are. can't actually tell us to be done with this, so. Chat, if we're done with this, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And in, in the comments. Please, please confirm in chat in the comments that you liked and slash subscribe. left dollar dollar left slash. I think we go with the right face. Yeah, dollar dollar. In case you think you're gonna copy my, it, it's different every time. <clears throat> I was hoping I would copy it. Though. These are important decisions. Are they? Oh right, because it changes the color of your of your. Yes. I got my purple vest on now. I would have, uh, I don't think I would have gone for gold because now you look like you're injured forever. I don't, I don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> All right, so here's the Mixer Mosp the third, in case you wanted to pause while we're going through it and, uh, you know. Oh, the burgundy one sided die. Yeah. I think we know most of these things. I think when you auto explore through here, it makes you read them all again anyway. I don't think so. I do think it does. Uh, because we definitely know. I mean, like, let's go to the journal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? We know twelve things about Ix and Rosp the Fourth. Okay. Right. And then here, these are all tomb engravings. They're slightly different versions of the originals, by the way. Oh really? I don't know if, yeah. I did not know that. I didn't know that they were like slightly different. Huh. Space Gaw. Well that's interesting. That's that's some lore. Like yeah. why would they why, why would that why would it be different? <laughs> Well, if if you ask me, which I'm not the person who wrote any of it, uh, and nor do I have, really have any insider knowledge on what the story means, uh, it's kind of just like calling out the fact that like Herodoticus and the history, like neither one of them is probably very accurate. Uh, right. Right. So it like calls into doubt like, all the histories and all the knowledges that you know and kind of makes you wonder, like, okay, like, there's a kernel of truth in all th history, right? But, like, history is written by, you know, some silly robot that, you know, obviously screws up your history. Like, I don't know if you've read the history it writes about you. I've tried. It, it always seems like a mess. Yeah. Uh, I actually think, sadly, because it just kind of picks based on a giant list of events uh, and we will probably have a lot of book related uh, <laughs> history entries in our game but yeah here's our mirror caller uh, lore and well uh, uh, what what is the true one is it the one in that written on their tomb or is it the one written on the statues I mean I don't think it's either right they're just they're just both they're, they're, since both, they're, both, different. they're both the the story that's told right you know um, one of them is told by this robot in this tomb. In many ways, I guess our journey is a reflection of the Sultan's journey. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel like there's some pretty deep hints that, like, there's a reason this floor is unfinished, you know? And this is, there's uh... There's been, what, six plagues? Is this not Reshef floor? Or Reshef's floor? Oh, this is Reshef's floor. I meant the next floor. Oh. <laughs> this is not Reshef's floor. This isn't Reshev's floor? No. Oh, I always thought it was. So we haven't... We Can we access Reshev's floor? I mean, I guess it could be Reshev's floor. I guess it would also not make sense that it's Reshev's floor because you enter yeah. the sarcophagus. But don't you tell um, Herodoticus that you are Reshev and then that's why you jump into the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, here you go, right? Yeah. Reshev dead, salt net dissolved. Spoilers. Spoilers! How do I get to bridge? You must be dead. Do that then. Here you go, right? Stylized. First, the story. I image your head, read your self-narrative from the folds of your brain, cross-check it against the thin world's ambient log of your life's deeds, then I stylize the story and engrave it on the walls. And once I'm done, then you're going to do Whoa, what about this thin world's ambient log? Yeah, the thin world. The thin world is, a, is tracking your, your life? It's tracking everything. Okay. Starting Tycho scan. Uh, kind of fun call out to Jason's Twitter handle there, Tycho Mancer. <laughs> Cross check complete. Your narrative is compiled. Now to engrave it. I'll never forget. So one time this uh, area bugged out for me. And he didn't engrave it. He didn't engrave it. And I had to kill him. Yeah. And then it it worked for some reason. In the month of Tiru, one Ux of one thousand one brave Tiru M slewed. 
slew fiendish, salty, oily Kuzan, the revered idol of Iza and member of the Kitha Mira Collar in single combat. I do remember that happening. Not really. Uh, it must but have been that in probably that happened in the, yeah, in the same, you know, we, we killed a tortoise. <laughs> Let's see. I would expect more books here. Uh, what? yep. Yeah, this is a book. Uh, patiently taught blanched fur to their simple something? To their, uh, disciple Sheba, the librarian, right? Oh. <laughs> that's great. That's amazing. Because you, that's when we marked the world. Yeah, the the electric snail corpse. Fantastic. Yeah, remember the kindness of Tiruem, who patiently taught boy unholstered the pistol and shot to their simple people, Sheba. Interesting how we were the people, or it's, they were the people, right? Yeah. Warbles and the deception to their people. Yeah, so we're gonna get a lot of books because we, of all the events in our history, you can see the kind of stuff that's in your history. Uh, we discovered a location. Yeah. Once lost to the sands of time. Uh, we shared holy water with nobid, noted luminary Preshif Hasula. That's not a troll, is it? Oh, yeah. We uh, we did discover a legendary Masterwork Scomp chain pistol known as Pistol of the Weird Pummel. I think we're still... Do we still have that in our... No, we sold that uh, in the last. Shoot. Yeah, so we founded the village of Shiva to clean grounds, right? Yeah. You remember when we founded a village? No. Yeah, no, we did that. Okay. Uh, by the auspices of the marsh, Tiru M invented the weird wire conduit and detected the heroes. All right, yeah, cool. I remember detecting a hidden signal I... and inventing the weird wire conduit. That Fuck our I guy, remember I guess. doing these things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we penned and snag a canticle for the Ionic Quillbears who live between the earth. Oh. A canticle for Barathrum. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Right. They don't even get a mention in our history, huh? Nope. Not by name. Uh. Okay, yeah. This is... Uh, Bethesda Susa. Yep, Susa. Oh, uh, yeah, we did recover the arbitrary friend or Max or Boon. Wait a minute, go, go back a bit. Yeah? I swear to God, that one on the right, not that one, the one to your right, does that not look like a Betel? Yeah. So they actually, like, yeah. the tiles are correct. It's based on the category. Oh, wow. Right, like, uh, oh, yeah, this is a, you know, killed someone in combat. Right. Oh, the tiles are so good, actually, when you, like, really examine them. Less the 14th, when Piru M cemented a historic alliance with the Godhead Clank, and the two became one. Clank Tiru M puffed the royal vapor into every nook and crevice of Kud. <laughs> we got two more. <laughs> Penned the influential book. Yeah, you remember when we wrote down the, uh, the Corpus Coilus? Yeah, laid to rest in the Tomb of Sultan. Yep. Good for us. Well, that was a full mm -hmm. life we lived. Uh, safe travels. Okay, major spoilers if you haven't seen this. Yeah. You know, so interestingly enough, uh, you know, figure might as well throw in dev thoughts while they're there. Is like, so one of the things we've been doing with the latest update, right, is kind of trying to get it to the point where everything's like very playable on controllers for like Steam Deck or like, you know, if we ever go to the Switch. Like, you want to be able to, like, interact with it using a controller, right? And so it's interesting to think about alternate ways of, like, doing these super confirms, right? Right. And so, like, that's one of the weird kind of problems that we're, like, thinking about and still trying to solve is, like, for the keyboard mode, like, when you have a keyboard, this is super fun. Like, I don't know about you, but I think this little detail about CUD is, is super neat. It should be the Konami code. Yeah, or like enter some special code. Like yeah. you have to press these buttons in this order. Yeah. We were thinking probably more like just long press and then, you know, maybe like, you know, hold down a trigger and long press a button. Yeah. You know, and maybe like a little charging up thing that like spells out the word in tomb, you know? Yeah, that could work. Be cool. So you know, like hold down all the buttons, all the triggers. So all the the this is all very spoilery, and we should continue talking during it, just because I think this is, I think this is probably the best animation in all of Cud. I don't know that right jump here. animation's pretty good now. The jump animation is pretty good, but when you like think about this animation from like what it is, right? Oh man, I want to save. Oh shit. Oops. What's going on? <laughs> Every time I press it, did the game crash? Right. This is just so fun, like. 
it's unbelievable to me that uh, the game kind of like still goes all the way back to the shell of like console and the thoughts of this like uh, interface code between us and the, the, the really real world. It's just a very cool animation. The... And this was all done using entirely like that used to happen in like console mode, you know? Oh shit, right. I, I, I love the fake out because it like the number of times I saw that death screen I, the first time I did this I, I was actually pissed off <laughs> I was like did I do it wrong god damn it <laughs> why do we have all of our gear with us uh oh we're like super over encumbered yeah we are we're gonna have to drop our holographic gear yeah why don't we ever <laughs> but it's telling me drop weight can't be used right now for some reason soft locked which is annoying no we'll just try it through here what is this weird artifact anyway? Oh, we're just gonna keep hitting drop until it really doesn't matter. Well, it might. I'm just worried that you're not gonna have it when you respawn. We can. It's okay. We can set a checkpoint at a. Uh, uh, we can also grab it all. So actually, hold on. Do we have a chest? We don't have a chest. I didn't. I could have carried a chest. <laughs> you think that? Okay. So first of all, like, would we be really sad to lose any of this? Um, yes. I would be sad if we lost all the herb berries and the chiral rings. And we still don't know what that puzzling pistol is. If you if you examine it right now, then I'll be sated. All right, so then we will ignore this pistol, keep the herb berries, keep this recoiler, keep the chiral ring, then drop some more. I'm cool with that. I do want to keep the antimatter cell. I want to keep that. We drop that. Mark the key. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I never realized it before, but um, Shomer looks a lot like uh, Zazapur, huh? Yeah. I come from the thick world. You call me sad. Is this related to the sad bear? Sod. Atara Sod of Old Saloon. And non stun do. There's, there's lots of interesting questions hiding in this dialogue. I really enjoy it. Uh... I still haven't stepped through to Bright Shoal, by the way. Yeah. That's the one thing that remains unspoiled for me, and I... I um. We'll keep it unspoiled until one day I get here on classic mode. So Cud was once Saloon. Am I dead? Claims that Brightshul is the dream of a seraph who lives atop a spindle. I didn't actually know that. Or maybe I did and I forgot. That's an interesting one. Kind of implies that the uh, one that lives atop the spindle is a robot. Uh, we're not we're not crossing into Brightshul. Well, this is actually... Um, there's no reason to... You, you don't want to know the option that comes out of that? No, I don't. It's not really worth saving, I don't think. Just FYI. Really? It's uh, its its own thing. It's just... uh. Well, your game ends there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm saving it. Yeah. Would you have a memory of that? Uh, Zero of 450 parched. Secret nods that bind the world. An additional floating nearby. Whoa. Recoming. Uh-oh. That, that is a lot. <laughs> Knock, knock, who's there? Yeah, Spartan. that's always a thing. We actually, we're not, we didn't get to over encumbered, so we're fine. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, our horns is still. Why are we right, over encumbered we got, by a lot? I guess because uh, we're hungry? Well, because we're not wearing any of our gear. Oh, right. Face, dominant cohort, extra mask, gift, uh, feathered painted kaleidos, Xera, force bracelet, uh, glow sphere. Perpetual fill of Tyrad, Jacked, Spacer, Puzzling Pistol. What is this ghostly flames? Where does that come from? Uh, I think it's from a flaming ray and it's just been bugged on us. Uh, okay, because I was wondering, like, I, yeah. we found that on uh, on Galen's playthrough. I'll have to let him know. It's just a bug. Because we were like, what is this? Uh, we have tons of things to disassemble. Two floating nearbys. Oh, we sold all our floating closers, but we can get another <laughs> one soon. We have a quantum moat. We yeah. don't want to. Yeah. Does it? Does it not glow? I think it does. In that case, it's been a while. Do we want a metamorphic polygel or the perpetual fill of Tyrad? Mm. We have so many. That could be a fun use of it. Like Just you, you have go three left. You could you could clone your cloning juice and then uh, collect it together and then clone it again. Like treat it like a uh, two of diamonds. Yeah. It would be kind of fun to get our temporal fugue way up. 
That's what I'm saying. How much does that... Was that actually, like, a lot? For three a, three levels. Temporal fugue? Pretty sure. Mm. Three levels. That would be enough to get us at least one or two clones. This is true. Oh, we didn't get our lucky pistol. That's the no, other thing, is go, if, we, if we got our lucky pistol back... I was going to say, we can just go back for it. Let's just go back for it. Yeah. I was, was going to say that, that was the other thing we could consider cloning. We cloned the, the fell of Tirad and in our lucky pistol, and then we have, like, agility up the wazoo... And uh, yeah, that... and in uh, temporal fugue, we're very hungry. We're hungry. Right on that grave moss. All right. So the hard part is going to be finding. Oh yeah, there's a crystal battle axe. But I'm not actually no. suggesting you go find and get it, but pentaceps. It does. Oh wait, where did we go up? Left. We might have actually just gone up here. Nope. Oh, what well, the stairs were right there. You just walked. I don't away think they were. Them. You just walked away from them. Where? You were right next to them. Oh. Well, well, we didn't come up these stairs. That's true, we didn't, but we may as well. Oh, but... So let's... this isn't going to be the one we came up. It's true. It's true. Could we dig our way through? I think we went up... North of here? That's all right. We'll just go around until we find it. This is it. Yeah. And there then it, it was on the... N where? North of Oh, just here. right there, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, I guess we go back here. Wake up. Clank puff on you. That was what he was dreaming, because we have telepathy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my old last spot. <laughs> what do we... We're promoted to the rank of Maven. Boop, boop. Oh, thank you for that metamorphic polygel. Yep. The matters yeah, have sure. evolved in your absence. Yeah, there are things to do. Yeah, there's... A, this is now I, stuff I've never done. Uh, so this is pretty fun. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, but basically there's this mound here and right. Yeah. Like we can pick various things like. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Plus five. Per wait, wait, wait. Can I see the body again? Five ch percent chance. This is catalyst. Cause a small explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have some of these things right now, but oh yeah, yeah. So here, you incantation. Know yeah, we got to make it do the incantation of uh, legendary shoemaker. Right. Yeah. So they all have different effects. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, choose a Hamza. What does that mean? Uh, I believe it's like an essence, but I mean like. Do these get... some of these things? They're all kind of themed to the thing. Which I think is really cool. Like, it's really well thought out. Do we get these effects, or is it just the golem? The golem. Oh. Th this isn't a follower, is it? Uh, it kind of is. Uh, cybernetic implant installed. Yeah, you can, uh, like, have it installed with one of your implants. Brain Brian has a Hamza's on a carry capacity. Rough Gemstone is plus eight ego. Huh. So, like, you can just bring things to this and kind of experiment with it. There's some, you know, some that are just weird. 15% reduction in the action cost of melee action. Or in the action cost of missile action, right? Huh. Like, There's some really strange ones here, yeah. Yeah, 800 skill points or clairvoyance at level 10. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things in this list. Um, kind of the last thing that uh, is out on the main line right now. Uh, you can play all this stuff. Uh, you can build your golem. Uh, you do need, need to power it with neutron flux. Right. Uh, so you were wondering why I was holding on to a bunch of neutron flux and not necessarily chasing the clam yet. We need three drams? Yeah. Jeez. I mean, it's uh, it requires a lot of power. Right. But so I think for the body, we need to have like a follower of a certain level or I think we can bring a figurine. I forget all the things. You can like... Um, Body of creature friend to form a creature after it must follow you and be experienced. No worry, friend not consumed in creation. So you need to bring a high enough level follower. Damn, if only we had that cherub. Yeah, right. I mean, we could always go back and try to convince another cherub to come with us. What about the we armament? We do have proselytize. What is armament? Zeta chrome, Zeta chrome weapon. weapon. Wow. And so the cool thing about it is that, like, it, uh makes the golem like whatever weapon you bring it so like if you want to do like axe golem you can bring it zeta chrome axe right this system is really cool uh armathag and jason put a lot of good work into this one tell me about the soup 
Primordial soup, 20 drams. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. First sounds heard in your creature's early dream drain. That's the uh, incantation. The Hamsa is a token to palm, soldier, and orient with object meaning. Five pounds or less. Like others, choice alters creature trait and behavior. Huh. Sending creature need mighty full battery with rare electromagnetic shielding. Purple pickles make neutron cell with three flux drams or must find different source. What can a different source look like? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really played with this. Huh. Interact with the mound, then chat with Clank and tell him to go. Well, I guess we'll be working on that for the next few episodes. Operating manual for a large creature. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think I convinced, uh, well, this was, I didn't really, like, convince anyone of that. Uh, it was kind of like everyone just knew immediately at the same time that it was going to be hilarious if we did that. <laughs> also, like, that's kind of funny. Tinker Spheres. I know we dropped ours in the middle of the tomb somewhere, but, like... We should have disassembled it. I don't, yeah, it, it just, the situation was what it was, you know? Actually... Ah, uh, that's so expensive, but fuck it. Scoped Null Ray pixel, Pistol. That was, like, not worth all the drama. That was the pistol we couldn't identify. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can actually sell Geomagnetic Disc. We already know it. Cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the... All the spoilers are in this episode and beyond, I guess. Yep. Uh... Authored by Plax Clank. Edited for clarity by Q-Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. But also walks about and crush things. Cannot wear gear unless gear is gigantic. <laughs> that's really good. And that's why Hel Hemel Crab is good. Yep. Large creature have two modes. Unpiloted creature follow you like friend, but act at half quickness. Piloted let you control like own body. Do actions there. Sit in pilot chair. Read manual on console. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this is sort of like the in universe or canon Hearthfire? Uh, no. Not at all? Okay. No, it would be more like, uh, mecha droid, like, uh, you're building basically like a biomechanical, like, combat mech. That's really right? good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool thing, I think. It's, I like it. it's a really good finish. I don't know fully what, what the ending is, but I know vaguely. Um, or at least yeah, so weird. actually, as by the time this video is out, the Omen Porch, the next... Uh, we don't have it in this patch that we've been playing, uh, but the next kind of battle is uh, released on the beta branch, if you want to test it. Uh, it'll be there. And uh, it's got a bunch of new sound effects that you've never heard. It's got a bunch of new visual effects, some of which you've seen, a bunch of which you haven't. Uh, there's a lot of other things in the beta. We're also testing a new input system in the beta. Really important to check out. Are you, uh, are we, has this series not been running on the beta? Uh, this is on beta, but... Not the most recent beta. By the time this episode airs, there will be another pack that has things even beyond the beta we're playing on now. Right. Um, or people had been playing on up until today which was like october 2023 in october all right well um what a place to to end it best one of the best songs in the game too i think heck yeah it's very quiet and chill this is our uh, alan gardens right here yep uh if you're enjoying the series uh, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing and uh I don't know, let us know our your favorite body to build a clay gold